ignoring every single word he spoke. It seemed to me that by his urgent gesticulations and, and by the entreaty in his eyes, that he was trying to tell me something of the utmost importance. <laughs> to listen to him for a little while. So, you know, I can see the most terrible predicament that we are in. Ah. <laughs> yes. If we follow my plan to the very letter, letter then I think that we shall be free. You couldn't just run over the main points of your plan just one more time for me. I think I may have missed just a couple of the very minorest details. I got four. Absolutely wonderful! They're enormous! And each to its own very own tin! <laughs> They're not pills, Roderick! <laughs> They're film cans for the archives! Oh, boring! Put them over there! Allow me, dear little lady! Let me say my pills, the new ones, the pussy promised me. She said that they were pink. The old ones, they don't work any longer. Where are they? Later, Roderick, later. The dentist earmark. Lobe, actually. Lobe. Good. Have you prepared Mr. Yellow's bedroom? I'm not staying here. But you must to protect me. He spoke with such terror in his eyes that I could not refuse him. But if I would ask that to me first thing in the morning, I suggest that you and I get straight down to business now. And then this gorgeous little madam can show me to my bedchamber. We have prepared the old developing tank for you. <laughs> developing tank? What the hell are you on about? In the days of the old Empire Film Studios, everyone who was anyone had to spend at least one night in the overnight bar. Oh, did they really? How tremendous. Jeffrey, you can leave us. And no eavesdropping. There's all these eavesdropping, you see. Oh, really? How long before? <laughs> I said no eavesdropping. Go away. Leave us. Good God, man. This is a loop, isn't it? It is. It's a loop. I haven't seen one of these little babies for years. So incredibly childish and frightfully good fun. Neither childish nor frightfully good fun, Bernard. How would you like to be stuck in a loop, going round and round and round and round forever? This was my good friend, the bank manager. All he tried to do was to sell us insurance on the overdraft, and my sisters, they did this to him. Bernard! I must warn you about their loops! To hell with their stupid little loops, man! What I want to know is how much liquid film you've got here, precisely. You know? Yes, of course I know. Yeah. Oh, and your sister's told me a tall one with a huge chin. Fancy, <laughs> if that's her name. Good God, man. You are probably sitting on a complete gold mine here. The stuff must be worth a complete fortune. I'll pay anything, absolutely anything. They might be listening. The hell with that? I'm not afraid of a few old biddies. They're much, much more than that. Don't give me that mumbo jumbo. What's real is real, everything else is just so much balloon. The only thing that matters to me in life is fat, curled, hard, fat, no one hooks, pokes, or jiggly poke that can get between me. <laughs> and these amazing liquid films. She told me that you keep them all in some sort of a crypt. Dee, 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 go along! Yes, everything that was ever made. Then take me to this crypt. I, I am salivating back. No! No! My plan. My plan. Oh, God, no. I've tried to escape from this creative mayhem a thousand times before. But they've always conjured up such grotesque complications. Every time. All I want to be is to be free. Free to go for the 
walk to know where I'm going. Free to open a book to understand the story. Free to meet people who are real and don't just evaporate before my very eyes. Freedom from this terrible place and my addiction. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for, Bourbon, or not? <laughs> and it grows a little more urgent every day. The empire that is falling, it falls a little further into the abyss every day. <laughs> Don't intend dying in any form, great or small, Lily Air. You shall have your freedom. Money. Lots and lots and lots of lovely money. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to destroy at least two thirds of the murder. Two thirds of what? Well, the liquid film, due to your flood of previously completely unheard of liquid films on an already highly volatile connoisseur's market could do irreparable damage to prices. But they're very, very rare. Oh, I know that, man. They're very, very rare. <laughs> but what the hell use is rarity if rarity itself is not protected? Oh, the little hero. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, who on earth is going to go and pay to, 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 to see the last of the great white rhinos if we don't keep their numbers down? <laughs> <laughs> but there is another rather important condition. <laughs> Call it the, uh, middle man's perk. <coughs> I take with me Le culotte de Monsieur Toupé. Le culotte de Monsieur Toupé! <laughs> the answer, lady. Well, that's a ridiculous little <laughs> thing. To hell with that, man. That's the deal, all right? That is the deal. And so the deal was done. You seem to be talking on completely. In a sense, I really, really pitied him. He was so terribly, terribly naive. <laughs> 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 nothing, nothing at all. If you would care to follow me, Mr. Earwax, no. I shall show you to your room. Oh, yes, of course. Is that delightful little developing... Tanker, isn't it? <laughs> Although I must admit, madam, that I had always rather considered myself to be quite well enough developed as it is. I don't suppose a little more exposure would go amiss. <laughs> Lead on. May flights of angels take me to my rest. I'll see you first thing in the morning, all right, Lily? Good night, stupid old duffer. I beg your pardon. I was just saying to Tanker here, I expect she'll be giving me some supper. Good night!